Have you tried this trick yet to improve your conversion rate? 99.9% .9 of you right now are watching this on your phone. And these days, more product research and purchasing happens on phones versus computers. But I bet you're designing your website on your computer or laptop, right? So promise me this, before you make any changes to your website live, test it on your phone first. In fact, try designing everything for your phone first and then worry about the desktop version later. By focusing on creating a great experience for mobile users, you're going to be creating a great website experience for the majority of your users. And the better their experience, the more likely they are to convert. You want things to load fast. You don't want them to have to scroll too much. Just make it as easy as possible for them to add to cart and buy. Follow me for more tips on growing your business online. And feel free to ask me anything in the comments. Have you tried this trick yet to improve your conversion rate? This one is especially important for services-based businesses. That is, if you're looking for your website to generate leads or have people call you, not e-commerce. Make sure you have conversion tracking set up for your conversions. If you want people to fill out a form on your website, make sure you can track when they do that. If you want them to call you, make sure you can track when they do that. If you want them to book a meeting with you, you guessed it, make sure you can track when they do that. Because if you can't measure it, then you can't improve it. Once you start measuring it, you'll find out where people are dropping off and how you can improve conversion rates at those points by reducing friction. Follow me for more tips on growing your business online and feel free to ask me anything in the comments. Have you tried this trick yet to improve your conversion rate? You may have seen other creators talking about social proof, but what does that mean? Well, people don't like to be the first person to do something. So it's helpful to add things to your website to prove that lots of other people like your products or services too. Some examples are star ratings, testimonials or customer reviews, saying how many people have something in their cart or have bought something recently, or maybe there's only a few left, even better, and then even badges or seals of approval from publications or others. Add social proof to your homepage, to the product page, to checkout, everywhere, and watch your conversion rate improve. Follow me for more tips on growing your business online, and feel free to ask me anything in the comments. Have you tried this trick yet to improve your conversion rate? Count how many steps someone must take in order to purchase from you. For example, they must land on your homepage, add to cart, view cart, enter their payment details, etc. Ideally, someone should be able to purchase from you in three steps or less. If your conversions take five or more steps, well, there's how to improve your conversion rate. Reduce the steps. Maybe you need to feature more products directly on the homepage to save a step. Or if you use Shopify, maybe enable something like ShopPay so people can pay and check out super fast. Remember, for every additional step you add for people to convert, you're gonna lose a lot of people. So minimize those steps. Follow me for more tips on growing your business online. And feel free to ask me anything in the comments. Have you tried this yet to improve your conversion rate? Changing your call to action. Call to action is marketing speak for what you want your visitors to your website to do. You are literally calling them, hey you, and saying here is the action I want you to take. Some examples are learn more, shop now, that sort of thing. You wanna test a lot of different calls to action on your site to see what works best for your customers. To write a great call to action, you need two things. One, action, that's a verb. Shop, learn, upgrade, etc. Two is the urgency. You want people to act fast. Shop now. Call today. Expires tonight. Limited time offer. Combine different words of action and urgency to come up with lots of calls to action for your business. And watch your conversion rate rise. Follow me for more tips on growing your business online. And feel free to ask me anything in the comments. Have you tried this trick yet to improve your conversion rate? Two words. Trust badges. These are images that are added to your website that, you guessed it, increase customer trust. Security or antivirus like Norton, payment logos like Visa or MasterCard, even putting a little lock symbol to suggest security can act like a trust badge. You want to have trust badges everywhere you'd have social proof. Homepage, product page, cart, everywhere. Follow me for more tips on growing your business online and feel free to ask me anything in the comments. Have you tried this tip yet to increase your conversion rate? Creating a sense of urgency, maximizing FOMO. That's fear of missing out. Some ways that you can do this are letting people know there's only a few left in stock or having a countdown banner for when a sale is about to end running across your site, sending out emails with limited time offers and also sending out emails about limited time drops 
Get it before it's gone. You can create urgency during checkout too to encourage people to finish up by having a countdown timer and of course making it as fast and easy as possible to complete that purchase. Create a sense of urgency and watch your conversion rate rise. Follow me for more videos about growing your business online or sign up for my newsletter to receive tips like this in your inbox. Have you tried this tip yet to improve your conversion rate? Adding more payment methods to checkout. If someone's already done their research and added to cart and are getting ready to buy, you don't want the reason they don't buy to be because you don't offer their preferred payment method. Credit cards and PayPal are table stakes, but these days, especially for more expensive items, you should be offering a buy now, pay later option, like Afterpay or Sezzle or Clearpay. Buy now, pay later pays you, the merchant, right away, but lets your customers pay in installments over time. Try adding a buy now, pay later option to checkout and watch your conversion rate rise. Follow for more or sign up for my newsletter to receive tips like this in your inbox.